There are some manufacturing improvements for the Y. The rear underbody, uh, we're moving to an aluminum casting instead of a series of stamped steel and aluminum pieces. Initially, it will be two castings, and I'll go from 70 parts to two, and then 70 parts, actually 70 parts to two plus joiners, so wow. four. <laughs> um, and then it'll go, when we get the, the big casting machine, it'll go from 70 parts to one. Uh, w- with a reduction in weight and uh, an improvement in MBH and, and a reduction in cost and a significant drop in the capital expenditure required for the, the older robots that would otherwise be necessary to put those 70 parts together. Hey, I'm Stephen and this is Solving the Money Problem. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. So in this video, we're talking about Tesla's Gigapress, the world's largest casting machine. This is an absolutely stunning, ridiculous, absurd, colossal improvement in automotive manufacturing. The big question I have is why hasn't anyone else done this? Why aren't Ford? Why aren't GM? Why aren't Toyota? Why aren't Volkswagen pioneering this form of automotive manufacturing? Why aren't they adapting and adjusting and improving and refining? I'll tell you why, because they're not Tesla. They don't have Tesla's engineers or Tesla's leadership or Tesla's culture of constant innovation, optimization, and finding new efficiencies. This is an amazing case study in the progress that Tesla has made between the Model 3 and Model Y, basically version one and two of the same vehicle, and we're just getting started. So let's learn a little bit more about this absolutely ridiculous gigapress. Hey guys, if you're in the US and you'd like up to two free stocks, check out the link in the description to Webull. If you open a new account and fund it with $100, you get two free stocks, one of them valued up to $1,400. And if you're in Australia, the UK, or New Zealand, you can get a free stock with stake using the link in the description. Let's get back to it. The skeleton of the rear third of the car, instead of being made of a zillion little stampings and extrusions and castings and whatnot, it's like, you know, as like Sandy, I think, accurately pointed out, the, the Model 3 looks like a patchwork quilt. It's not great. You know, in terms of achieving a function of like being very safe, it, it achieves its safety goals. But the complexity in the body shop is insane. To be totally frank, like, I think our, our Fremont body shop feels like a Dickensian nightmare. And I spend a lot of time there. <laughs> you, know. <laughs> you know, it's sort of cool in a steampunk way, but uh, not something you want to repeat. So the current version of the Model Y has basically two, two big uh, high-pressure die-cast aluminum castings that are joined, and then there's still a bunch of other bits that are attached. And then later this year, we'll transition to the rear underbody being a single piece casting that also integrates the rear crash rails, which mm. will take wow. to another. Very cool. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So if you know what, this is like a big deal, by the way. It gets better. The current castings, because you've got to interface with so many different things, we have to CNC machine the interfaces, uh, and we've got to join all these things. It's quite, quite difficult. There's like a bunch of things that have got to be joined. We've got to put datums on them and that kind of thing. Um, the single piece casting has no CNC machining. It doesn't even have datums. Like that's a profound, really. It took us a lot of iteration, by the way, to get there. It sounds obvious when I say it, but it's quite difficult to get yeah. there. And it, it, it does require the world's biggest casting machine, uh, which we have two of. So it was like basically around 6,000 ton uh, casting machine. It's the, size, it's the size of a small house, basically. Uh, one coming from Italy and one coming from China. And uh, we should be actually starting to set up the one from Italy in, I think, next month. That was Elon Musk on the Third Row podcast earlier this year. We've now got an update. Check out this tweet. Polmar's catalog wrote, the single piece casting machine for Model Y has been installed in Fremont. Shanghai and Berlin will use single piece casting. He tagged Elon Musk and Elon replied, will be amazing to see it in operation. Biggest casting machine ever made. Will make rear body in a single piece, including crash rails. So effectively, we have confirmation there from Elon that yes, the single piece mega casting, giga casting machine is now set up in Fremont. Soon will be deployed to the other factories as well. And they're just getting started. Of course, Tesla is gonna continue to improve and iterate, delete parts and processes. This huge casting machine is an example of an absolutely massive shift forward in terms of manufacturing efficiency. But believe me, Tesla is just getting started. If you thought the Model Y to 3 improvement was dramatic, just wait until we go to the Cybertruck. No body panels at all. No stamping, no paint, like, don't get me started. The thing that's truly astonishing about this feat of engineering isn't the size and scale of the actual Giga casting piece. I mean, yes, that's a quantum leap beyond everyone else and like props to Tesla. But having the crash rails built into this single cast piece is truly insane. Here's a really quick primer on vehicle safety in the event of accidents. 
Cars aren't just engineered and designed to be strong and tough and not break. They're actually engineered in specific ways to perform repeatably and predictably in the event of a collision. So there's components that are designed to crumple or shear or bend or warp in certain ways. And somehow, Tesla has managed to engineer all of that performance, that predictability, that crash safety into a single gigantic rear cast piece. It's insane. Let's have a look at what they've managed to integrate into a single piece. So these are crash rails, and the whole purpose is to transfer and distribute force during a collision. We can see here the front rail component, the front rail inner, etc. This is what Tesla has integrated into that single cast piece. I've marked the front crash rails in this video with arrows, so you can see what we're talking about. This is a critical crash safety component in a vehicle. I just, I, the fact that Tesla has integrated this into the GigaCast piece, it blows my mind. If there's any expert engineers, please try to explain how the the fuck did they do this? Which one costs more, a Model 3 to build? Which one costs more, the 20, uh, 2018 Model 3 or the 2020 Model Y? The Model Y costs less um, because of the stuff that, uh, that Elon has put in there. So that was a big surprise to us. Yeah, we were shocked when that happened. So even without the giant single cast piece, we know that the Model Y actually costs less to produce than the Model 3, despite being a larger vehicle and having a higher sticker price, which means more profit for Tesla. Mega castings that we saw on the Model Y, do you think that this is just the beginning for Tesla? This is something that's gotten me into a tremendous amount of problems uh, with customers. We got fired for that too, saying that why don't we go to Italy and buy one of those great big presses and squirt us a basically something similar, actually smaller, smaller than what, uh, what Tesla did on the Y. And, uh, and I, I couldn't talk a single solitary soul into it. I don't understand why people are, are so hesitant. Oh my God, we need that 300 pieces of sheet metal to, to glue the front end together. Why? I mean, what's wrong with a one big giant casting? Oh, it won't break right. Wait a minute, I have all these computers outside and, and they've got CAE tools, computer-aided engineering tools, and I can predict where everything's gonna break. What do you mean it won't break right? And by the way, aluminum, I, ca I, can, I can make crush cans out of aluminum. Why, why do I have to use, well, tell me again why all this stuff has to happen. And uh, there is no answer except that nobody wants to be the first. At um, some of the companies, they say, oh, we're second, but better dressed. No, you're not, you're second. And who remembers second anyway? Does anybody remember who came in second, uh, uh, you know, in the 100 yard dash the last time we had Olympics? No, nobody cares. I mean, it just doesn't happen. Nobody gives a damn. The bronze and the, and the silver, melt them down. Nobody cares. So um, the first guy in is the one who wins. Sandy Munro is absolutely spot on there. For those of you who don't know, he's an automotive engineering expert, literally the expert of experts. We can see the level of innovation and progress that Tesla is making. Sandy said he was blown away by how much improvement there was between the three to the Y in terms of cost. Just imagine what's next and what's next and what's next and what's next from Tesla. This isn't a static company. They're gonna to continue to improve in leaps and bounds and leave everyone else further back in the dust how big how many pieces can get you know conglomerated into this like whether it be a tesla or a ford or whatever if you could just make the the tool the press the as big as you wanted would it would it include the body panels or would you still keep the body panels or, or or what okay so sitting outside is a rolling chassis this is in my building right now our building it has three major pieces and that makes up the whole skateboard and if you want you can tuck in um, a battery, a battery pack in the bottom. That would be four major pieces. So uh, how, many, how many spot wells do you think are, might be out there? You're looking at thousands and thousands and thousands of parts that have to be stamped or spot welded together. Some of them have got glue or other kinds of adhesives. And I've got something outside that has three major castings and somebody says, oh, it's in the future. No, it ain't. I got one right outside. You can go and have a look. Uh, I mean, and guys will come in and look at it. And like body guys will come in and look at it. And they'll say, oh, yeah, well, that's interesting. And they keep right on walking. The point that Sandy makes here is reflective of the wider automotive industry. Sandy's company, Munro & Associates, actually provide reports. They tear down vehicles and provide intel into the technology, how they're made, how they're built, how much they cost, etc. And he recently revealed that not one US automotive manufacturer has requested a report on the Model Y's Octo Valve heat pump thermal management system, which is an absolute game changer. 
Not one. GM haven't asked, Ford haven't asked, like, what are they doing? They're staying safe and comfortable and familiar. Because goodness me, trying to do something new, that's really scary. Let's just say safe and comfortable where we are in cruise control. Nothing could go wrong, could it? Next minute, bankrupt. Because while you're asleep at the wheel, Tesla's engineers continued to optimize and improve and didn't stop. And they're not going to stop. Hint, hint. Because when the expectations don't match the results, people physiologically cannot see the data. And that's, uh, that's the truth. That's a line that I've, uh, I've lived with for a long, long time. When the expectations don't match the results, people physiologically, in other words, they can't see the data ever. A, a good example, you go to your bench and you look at the bench and you're looking for your hammer and you can't find it. You look around, you know you put that hammer on the bench, you just can't see it. So you scream out and maybe it's your girlfriend or your wife or maybe it's your son, which was my case most of the time. Alistair, where the hell did you done with my hammer? Alistair comes walking out, picks the hammer up off the bench and says, this hammer, Dad? Yes, thank you. Now get out of here. <laughs> okay, what happened there? I, I, I knew I was looking for the hammer. It was right in front of me. Did you ever have a situation like that? Everybody has. It's called scotoma. When the expectations, I thought this hammer was right here, don't match the results. I didn't see it right away. You physiologically can't see it. You're your brain is more powerful than your eyes. And that's kind of like a big deal, especially in today's environment. Um, people are seeing things, but uh, the brain has got one idea and what they're seeing doesn't match. So it's a real problem. This is amazing from Sandy. He could literally be talking about analysts trying to understand Tesla stock. It's the same thing with some of their manufacturing techniques, their technology and their engineering. It's like if your brain just doesn't comprehend, doesn't even want to comprehend, considering that there's a possibility, it's too out there, it's too scary, it's too new, it's too different, you literally just won't even see, you just won't get it. This is what's happening with Tesla right now. Most other auto manufacturers should be buying every fucking report that Sandy Munro has ever made about anything Tesla has ever produced and trying to copy and replicate their manufacturing techniques, their engineering, everything. But they're not. They can't see what Tesla's doing. They're blind. They just don't see what's happening before their very eyes. But we do. Let me explain why this is so important. When Tesla initially began developing cars, they sucked shit at automotive manufacturing, right? However, their electronics, their software, battery, amazing. Yet, in the few years between Model 3 and Model Y, we've seen Tesla go from assembling what was basically a cluster f to now being industry best in automotive manufacturing techniques, okay? They went from one of the worst, probably the worst, in terms of automotive manufacturing. Sure, everything was still safe and stuff. It's just it was so cumbersome and convoluted and inefficient. There was a lot of room for improvement. They've leapt beyond everybody. They haven't just incrementally improved a little bit and got a little bit less shit. They now dominate and rule. This giga casting is absolutely mind blowing. The heat pump, octave valve in the Model Y, mind blowing. The rate that these factories are going up, mind blowing. And we still haven't even seen the Cybertruck enter production yet. So what isn't Tesla winning at now? They're winning at safety, three safest vehicles ever tested. They're winning at making profitable EVs. Nobody else is making as much money per EV sold as Tesla. They're winning in total EVs produced per annum. Nobody is making as many EVs as Tesla is. They're winning in software. I mean, this isn't even close. They're winning in full self-driving data. They're winning in brand awareness. They're winning in not needing to spend any money on advertising. They're winning in automotive manufacturing. They're winning in factory design. Like Tesla has won the decade. No one's catching them. This is gonna be a story for the ages. How Tesla went from startup to world leader on everything that matters and it all comes down to their engineering genius. I'm Stephen Mark Ryan, this is Solving the Money Problem and I love you all. And of course, don't forget your free stocks with Webull. If you're in the US, you can start a new account with Webull using my link below, deposit $100, dollars you get two free stocks, one of them valued up to $1,400. And if you're in Australia, New Zealand, or the UK, you can get a free stock using the link in the description to stake. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, if you have any ideas for future videos, let me know. I read all your comments. P.S. If you're still watching, you're awesome. If you'd like early access, exclusive videos, regular Q&As, our private discord server and more consider supporting the channel at patreon.com slash solving the money problem so i can keep creating content for you guys there's a link in the description you can now also become a member of the channel for some exclusive perks to learn more click the join button next to subscribe and don't forget to check out our merch store either way the best form of support is you being here and watching so thanks again